Hello students, we finished with the general characters of Rhodophyta. Now we would like to study distribution, cell structure, pigments and reserve food material in this particular lecture. Now let us study distribution of this red algae. Majority of red algae are marine, few are freshwater dwellers. Marine species are sessile and attached to the substratum. Detachment from the substratum results in the death of the algae. So free floating forms mean that they are dead. Continuing with the distribution. Majority of rhodophytes are lithophytes. Children, what does lithophytes mean? It has been derived from a word lithos. Lithos means rock. So they grow attached to rocks of substrate. These algae show epiphytism. Internal space parasit parasitism or true parasitism. Now you know already what are these relationships. Epiphytism means they grow over the surface of another plant or thallus. But mind it, these red algae grow on the surface of other red algae. Internal space parasitism, they grow inside the thallus of the other algae, red algae. Or they live as true parasites. They, they live at the expense of other algae they grow on. Distribution only we are continuing with. The freshwater species are found in well aerated waters. They started in the beginning and found out that mostly the species are marine but few are freshwater dwellers. What are these? These include Batracosperma, Copsopogon, and Lemnia, etc. So you can see here Lemnia growing on the surface of the rock. Now let us study the second subtopic that is cell structure. Any individual, be it a plant or an animal, it is made up of cells. Cell is the fundamental structural and functional unit in any individual, any living being. So let us talk about the cell structure. The cell is surrounded by a cell wall. You know already in plants we have got a cell wall. Cell wall is two layered. Inner one is made up of cellulose and outer one made up of various pectic compounds. Because you see here we have got alginin, carangenin, many compounds are there which are present on the outer pectic substance wall. In majority of species, cells are uninucleate. In few species, cells are multinucleate. The protoplasm is highly viscous. In Bangioidae, there is no central vacuole, but in Floridae, a big central vacuole can be located. Continuing with the cell structure, cells of primitive rhodophyta generally have a single centrally located slate chromatophore. At the center of this chromatophore is a single naked pyrenoid. You have seen that in primitive red algae, the pyrenoid is present, but that is naked. More advanced genera possess more than one disciform chromatophores which lack pyrenoids. We finished with the general, general characters. We finished with the distribution. We finished with the cell structure. Now let us concentrate on pigments. This group of algae are distinguished from rest of the algae mainly because of pigments. Coloration is red. Pigments are present in chromatophores. G pigments are chlorophyll A and D. My chlorophyll B is completely absent. Beta carotene, lutein, R phycoerythrin, and R phycocyanin. R phycoerythrin and R phycocyanin are predominant. And it also contains R phycocyanin, besides R phycoerythrin and R phycocyanin, it also contains xanthophylls. 
So chlorophyll A and B are present. B is absent. Beta carotene is there. Lutein is there. R5 coerthrin and R5 cosine is there. And xanthophylls are there. Besides this, all photosynthesis of rhodophyta because they are present in deeper dip depths at different depths in the oceans, in the seas, is the blue in the blue part of the spectrum. Now, after pigments, pigments means they are autotrophs. So, they will be manufacturing food. End product of photosynthesis is glucose, formation of glucose. But we can't keep it as such. The plant cannot keep it as such. It's a readily usable source of energy. So, what it will do? It will convert it into insoluble form. So, insoluble form you have studied in chlorophyta is starch. So, here the reserve food material is chloridian starch and insoluble carbohydrate. It is considered related to and not identical to amylopectin. We have amylopectin present in the uh, starch which is produced by uh, the chlorophyta. It is, it is related to, to uh, that but it is not identical to amylopectin. Many red algae also accumulate the soluble sugar fluoridocide and galactoside of glycerol. The reserve food material is usually stored in the form of small granules that lie in the cytoplasm instead of chromatophores. That they, these, this reserve food material does not lie in the chromatophore but it lies in the small granules that are in the cytoplasm. Fluoridian starch is different from the starch which you observe or see in case of chlorophyta. What is the difference? When you treat fluoridian starch with iodine, it gives you a wine, reddish wine coloration. But when you treat starch of chlorophyta with iodine, it gives you a blue coloration. References used are none other than cryptochemic botany by G.M. Smith. Last but not least, thank you. If you liked it, like it, share it and subscribe it. Thank you.